Hi, I'm Wade Wingler with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana. And today we're going to talk about an interesting use of the iPod Nano. And you might have seen these things at the gym or around town where folks use them to listen to music on the go. And it's a very small, very handy way to listen to music and even do some things like look at pictures. Well, we have an interesting new application for this that we think might be useful for folks who have autism, have a hard time understanding how to deal with social situations, maybe forget who people are or how to interact with them, or do simple things like get ready to go to school or to work in the morning. So, this iPod Nano is set up to handle music and it's incredibly small. It's made to be clipped onto your workout clothes or your shorts so that you can listen to your music. It also has the ability to be inserted into this wristwatch um, kind of a band so that you can slap this thing on your wrist and wear it as a watch throughout the day. And it even has a little clock built in so that it looks like a watch. And it kind of looks like you're, you're wearing a watch. But the thing that we're doing with the Nano that I think is interesting is we are putting playlists on it. So we go into um, iTunes or GarageBand and record some audio, drag it over into iTunes, and then we can use it as a series of reminders. Now, normally you would wear these small earbuds or maybe even a bigger headset like this. Today we've got this connected through a speaker system so you can hear here on the video. But I have two playlists, and one is called Medications, for example. So imagine I'm wearing this on my wrist, I hit play Playlists, then I hit Medications, Take one small diamond-shaped pill, that's your allergy medicine. Take one small pink pill, that's your thyroid medicine. And so we've got a playlist set up there, another one for pockets in the morning. Make sure you get your house key, your wallet, your bus pass, your cell phone, and the money in the dish. And so those are just samples of things that you could set up in a playlist to allow somebody to remember how to do things in the morning in a way that's kind of subtle and easy to, um, easy to handle. The other thing is I've got photos set up here on the front page and I've got a little playlist of photos that have common people that this person might interact with. So this is a photograph and it says Mrs. Bloom, principal, which might help a student remember who is this lady in the suit that's talking to me in the hallway. Or maybe it's a picture of Evelyn, a friend, and her phone number. And all we did was we opened up these um, photos in preview on a Macintosh or any photo editing program will let you stick text on those and then you can have a photograph and a little memory aid there to help somebody remember who these people are and maybe how to call them or things like that. The other thing that will happen is if you connect a headset that has a microphone built in and I've got a larger one here that has a, a little microphone you can also have a voice recorder and that shows up as an icon on here and will allow you to record notes to yourself throughout the day and you can see on the nano here the little volume meters bumping up and down as I talk because it has the ability to record. So using this nano which is a commercially available device any number of a set of microphones, headsets or those kind of things and maybe one of these things that turns it into a wristwatch is a great way to give somebody who has cognitive issues um, a way to remind themselves about who people are or how to do things throughout the day and don't forget that all those benefits of having music and other things are available too for entertainment. So that's your tech tip for this week. I'm Wade Wingler with the Indata Project in Indiana.